So the executive became Republican. So the mm -hmm. FCC chairmanship becomes Republican. Mm -hmm. Michael Powell. Yes. Uh, Powell and then Kevin Martin. And the philosophy shifted from one of open access and competition being a good thing to um, let's encourage the monopolies to invest in their networks by clearing the decks of competition. Right. If you don't have to worry as much about competitors, maybe you'll invest more in you'll infrastructure. incentivize you to really build it Yes, out. and yeah. the, the telephone companies were threatening not to invest in their infrastructure if they had to share it or sell it. Um, How come that didn't work for the phone companies? And uh, well, it did in a way. So the, the, the break point where that occurred was copper and fiber. So what they said is, copper, that's yesterday's technology. So You've we'll invested you in that. It. We'll the rate payers <laughs> yeah, have paid God, for it. Right. You have to open that up and okay. share it. But if you build some new fiber out mm. to a house, you have no unbundling obligation. So unlike European countries where the unbundling obligations have remained strong and thus consumers, whether they're served by you know, the technologies of the past on copper or the technologies of today and the future on fiber, they'll have a number of carriers to choose from. Here in the US, you might be able to choose from 10 providers on copper, but maybe only one on cable and one on fiber. 